for melancholy. It stole upon me a heavenly cologne at the Morgan at a show of Durer's prints. Through crowds, I dogged the man along the wall. I tried not to distract him. I'd gone alone to see her ominous celestial hints, admire her tools in their untidy sprawl. I would have begged him, stranger, nondescript, for the name of his elixir and its source, but that I couldn't bear to make him scared or worse aroused. I wanted that scent stripped, not for my husband, who would then of course be dogged by women with their nostrils flared, but that I might imbue her black and white with peony and seaweed, mushroom, moss, wet iron, bacon, linseed, candle snuff, aromas to uncurl her fists, ignite some color in a face that, drawn with loss, might once again delight in all her stuff.